Hello everyone, welcome to another Doodle World video. In this Doodle World video, we're doing another Season 1 Rank Battle. Yeah! So let's just jump right into this. I'm gonna try to use the same team I used in the last video because it was actually doing pretty good, even though sometimes I just got destroyed. But yeah, this is like my fifth Rank Battle video for Season 1 in Doodle World on Roblox. So how about we click Find Battle, and let's just get up in this. Okay, here we go, and looks like we're fighting Error, Dragon, Error. I keep on having glitches on Roblox, like some of the sound effects won't even load or play until like 10 seconds later all at once. It's weird. But he pulls out a Xeno, I pull out my Wyvernal. I didn't use the Wyvernal in my last battle, but I wanted to switch it up to use something with fire moves on it, even if it's not fire type and hit and run at the same time. And see, look at you can tell stuff ain't loading because it's not showing the symbols or what to do. So let's do Wing Slash and see how that goes. He does Poison Punch and takes me out in that freaking hit. What the freak, man? I can't think of what I used to kill Xeno during the Winter Event. That's like the last time I can remember fighting Xeno, really. Is the Winter Event, and I can't remember what the heck I was using. But let's do Mineral Cannon and see how that goes. He does Unguarded Strike and takes me out. What the freak? Serious, Xeno. I cannot remember what I used to hit him. I know what type he is. So I already lost two doodles down to the stupid Xeno, and now I'm pulling out my hat tricks. And it looks like I can do Mind Drain, that's what it was. I should have pulled up my Bionautic because of the mind. I couldn't remember, what did I use? It was, uh, I think it was like Cerebopod at the time. That was a weird sound effect, but he didn't kill me in that one hit, and I did Mind Drain to get some of my health left, and I killed him in that one hit. That's all I had to do was pull up my hat tricks, and my two doodles would still be alive. But there we go, I took out your Xeno. You probably had your whole team set up for that because Xeno is able to be used in Season 1 Rank Battles. And he pulls out Era Kill. He has the regular trait on him. No green arrows. I have never actually fight him, but he is just pure dark, so I got no light, no spirit moves, nothing like that. So I switch out and pulls out the Taz, my Swayze. I forgot about that, but he probably can kill me in one hit. No, he did War Cry. Look at none of the sound effects are playing, but then they play all at once. He can do, let's see, uh, accuracy, 20% chance to flinch. Let's try that, the most savage attack. He did that move, which no sound effect came out, once again. He almost killed me in that hit, and I took him out in that hit, and where are the sound effects? Don't play them all at once, dude. It's not literally all at once. That's so weird. But I got two doodles down, he has two down. And let's try roundhouse kick, it probably won't go through, because the accuracy is lower. And he takes me out for electrical slash. So I'm gonna pull out my Ira kill, kill again! which I just killed one of his. I don't even know if this is good against Swoptar. I really don't fight Swoptar. This is probably my second time fighting Swoptar. But let's see what I can actually do. So I can do Electro Slash, and I'm pretty sure he just did that to me. And he's switching out right away. Why? Wow, he pulls out Scott Dean with Titanium Bucket. Wow, that sucks. And do Electro Slash and take more than half of his health down, so I don't know why he switched out. Oh, let's do the Venom. I can do the Venom now. And there he goes, he's reacting to a runestone, so my move is probably not going to do much. This is my first time ever fighting Scott Dean's Awaken. I haven't even fought it in the maze yet. Not one Guardian has used this in the maze yet for me. So, and I, oh my gosh, I left it with 1 HP. Now it's going to kill me in the snap freeze. Wow, it didn't even hardly do much damage. I mean, it did good damage, but for Awaken. But let's do Electro Slash. And we took out his Awaken, so now he has three doodles down, and I got three doodles down. We're tied right now. And he pulls out Swoop Tart again. And I can do Electro Slash, so let's do that. I wish this would go faster, man. Look at our moves, and there he goes. He does Iron Slash and probably takes me out. No, he's let me survive at 41. I had spiky thorns on, so it hurt him a little. Then I did Electro Slash and literally took him out. He probably would have survived if I didn't have spiky thorns. We just took out the Swoop Tart now. He has four doodles down, and I got three. This match is getting close, but I'm pretty sure one of his doodles is going to destroy me. So he pulls out Checkmate, which is, oh my gosh, we got the little horsey, and I can't do anything towards it, and I'm about to die, so let's just do Expectorate, looks out, and I actually went first, nice, nice. Took almost halfway down, he did Rumbling Charge, and took me out. So I'm pulling up my Bionautic, which is probably not good, but it's the only thing I got that's actually fully healed, fully helped up. Nullified all his traits, because he had that Checkmate, or whatever, Rush, whatever the heck trait was. And now my screen's just sitting here. There we go. Let's see if I can even do anything. I can do Tsunami. Let's see if we can go first. Come on. And now he did Shield Bash. 
and took half of my health down and I did this and should take him right out. Boom! Now he only has one doodle left and I got two doodles left. This in my hat trick still. And he pulls out Junipyro do the uh, mind move that messes with his stats. He did quick thinking, magic attack boosted, speed boosted. I did this move, took almost half of his health down, which I accuracy was lower for Junior Pyro and my speed was boosted. Oh, do the world. There we go. There we go. And let's do uh, Opal Pulse this time. Hopefully it does some good damage. He did Life Staff to get his health back up. Come on. Which, oh my gosh, it killed me. He's going to win this battle. I have one doodle left and he's at full health. I'm literally going to die. Here's my hat tricks. Not at full health, but he's at full health. I should be able to do Kona Code, but I can, this is really irritating me. How every turn I sit here for a second. I can do Kona Code. I should go first, but I have not actually sat down and used Junipyro in any PvP or any battle. What I really did was hunt Junipyro. And he did Life Sap. Which, uh, no sound effects. Did he kill me here? Did he kill me? Oh my gosh, he almost killed me. I do Kona Code and took him out. Oh my gosh, we won this battle. Era Dragon, that was such an awesome battle. That was so close. You literally almost killed me right there in that one hit. You left me at 26 HP. That's freaking insane, Era Dragon. That was a really cool battle. You don't know who's going to win. It's right at the last doodle. Any of us could win just off that one hit, but wow. And I'm finally over a thousand, but I don't think I'll ever get over bronze. But wow, that was my fifth battle in Season 1 Rank Battles in Duda World. That was such a close battle. I can't believe I won that. And now we're finally over a thousand points, but I don't think I'll ever get over bronze. But that's pretty much it for the Season 1 Rank Battle video. I am Gore Punk here at the Goriest Punk YouTube channel. If you are new, smash that sub button right under the video. Go follow me at my Twitter at Goriest Punk. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Either way, guys, thank you for stopping by and checking out this Duda World video for a Season 1 Rank Battle. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, evening, wherever you're at on this planet Earth. Later!